hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will work on our player controller okay so as you know that this game is for the mobile devices but also we will make this game playable for the pc players as well okay so in order to make this game work on pcs we have to add the uh, PC controls okay for that we will be using the new input system in unity so if we click on windows then package manager right here change this from in project to unity registry and let's search for new or let's just search for input system okay here it is so just simply install it and it will show this warning so just simply click yes and when you do that it will restart our unity project okay as you can see okay now after this in the assets folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of scripts then let's go inside the scripts folder in here create another folder by the name of player controls okay then in the player controls we will create a c sharp script by the name of input manager and also what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a input action okay I think you guys can't see this option because it is uh, cropped right here at the end due to my video editor so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this project window outside and let's move it at the top right here and now inside the player controls folder if I click on create and now as you can see at the end right here input action okay so create an input action let's name this as player controls okay now let's move this project down below again and when you select this player controls right here it will show this generate c sharp class so click that and then click apply so that it will create a player controls script as well okay and the reason we create this script is because we want to access all of the input actions inside our project okay so now let's create our action map and let's name this as player movement since this will hold all of our movement keys okay so player movement in here we have this new action so let's name this as movement okay make this a pass through and then vector 2 and now in here as you can see we have no binding so I will delete that and then let's click on this and create the second one add up down left right composite okay and when you add that let's name this as WASD this will be vector 2d vector and right here we're gonna change this to analog then for the up we will select the keyboard W key so right here if we select this path and type W okay I don't know why it didn't show this input field Okay. but if we type W as you can see it shows W keyboard so select that okay press enter now for the down we are gonna select the S key so if I type S as you can see right here S keyboard select that for the left it is A key so A keyboard and for the right you can go inside the keyboard as well like this press enter then type D in here and select D keyboard okay now as you know that uh, we will be adding uh, the inputs for the controllers as well so if the player wants to play the game using a controller 
then we need to add inputs for that as well okay so after this WAST let's click on movement and add another up down left right composite and now let's name this as left stick okay as you know that on most of the gaming controllers we move using the left stick okay so now for the up we're gonna select the left stick so let me type left stick and then slash up okay and make sure that you select this gamepad okay not anything else after this for the down we're gonna select let me go back okay and let's type left stick down gamepad then for the left we're gonna say left sticks slash left gamepad and for the right we're gonna search for left stick slash right gamepad okay so now our inputs are ready okay now we need to create uh, actually we have the input manager script so now what we're gonna do we're gonna read these inputs okay whenever we press these keys so you can uh, either click on auto save or if you click on this close icon it will give you this window so make sure that you click on this save okay so that all of the inputs get saved which we created now let's double click on the input manager script and also let's open up the player control script as well so as you can see we have the player movement right here and in the player movement we have this binding for WASD keys so as you can see up down left right then we have another binding for the left stick so up down left right okay so now we're gonna read these inputs so first of all we will say player controls then name this as player controls as well after this we're gonna create a public vector 2 by the name of movement input and then we're gonna create the own enable method okay let me remove that summary and in here we're gonna say that if the player controls is null then what we're gonna do we're gonna set the player controls to the new player controls okay and then we want to read the movement uh, from the player controls so we will say player controls dot player movement okay this player movement is the name of the action map okay player movement then we have an action in here which is by the name of movement and then in the movement we have these movement inputs okay so inside the player movement we have the movement actions so we're gonna say if they are performed okay then the movement input we're gonna change value in that vector to okay so we're gonna say i dot read value and that's it okay after this we are gonna say player controls dot enable and then we are gonna create 
on disable method and in here we're gonna simply say player controls dot disable that's it now if I click on prefab unpack completely let's name this as player okay and let's drag and drop the input manager script at the top right there and let's start the game so as you can see there is no camera rendering so that's why it is showing this but if we press the W key as you can see Y change to 1 if we press the S key Y change to minus 1 if we press the A key it is now the X is minus 1 and if we press the T key the X is 1 and also let me clear that out okay so my joystick is connected so now if I move the left stick of my joystick or you can say controller upwards as you can see it is one and if I uh, rotate it downwards as you can see it is now the X is changed to minus one and now the Y is changed and also as you can see X minus one X one Y one Y minus one and if I rotate it in 360 as you can see the values get changed okay so it means that the inputs are being read properly fine and with our inputs added, let's end this video right here.